you were involved in sending out 11 people from our church to York, Pennsylvania last week. You supported them financially. You supported them through your prayers and encouragement. And they come now to give a report on how God has worked in and through them. So I'm going to ask Dan to make make your way up here and uh, turn this section of the service over to him and to the York team. Officially, welcome back. Thank you. You guys can come on up now. Well, um, again, thank you uh, from all of us. We're going to uh, we'll have everybody give a brief uh, report on, on their experience throughout the week. Um, before we do that, just a, a couple of things. I'm going to just give you a, a rough idea. Since we had no idea what we were going into when we went, um, I'll just give you a rough idea of what we uh, what we experienced, and then we'll then we'll get the teens up here and they can tell you about their week. Um, I do also want to say that we are uh, without one of us. Uh, Al Taylor is uh, came down with a fever after getting back, so it was a, a taxing week. But uh, we appreciate your prayers for him. Um, but it was a it was a neat trip. Uh, just a, a couple numbers to throw out at you. It was uh, 84 total people at the York Camp Week of Hope, uh, split up from 10 different youth groups. And uh, out of those 84 people, we were split into 11 work crews over nine different job sites. And in a minute, uh, our group was split into four different crews. And we're going to, uh, we'll tell you about, we'll have the teens tell you about each of those individually. But then uh, each morning we would wake up. We would have breakfast, we'd have a, a morning meeting where all 84 of us were together and uh, have a little encouragement, mini devotion for the day. We'd go out on our ways to the job sites, do some work. We were there from 9 till 3 every day, uh, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. And uh, during the day, we would have a crew devotion that was a, a, a leader or a youth would be like the devotion leader for the week and lead the the their particular crew and devotion, and the part, the uh, residents or people that we were working with were invited to participate with us. Then we would come back, have an evening session and dinner, and then we'd have youth group devotions in the, at the evening, at the last thing before we would go to bed. Um, and then free time dispersed in there, wherever it would fit. So, um, yeah, we'll we'll we'll, we'll, uh, we'll start out with the uh, with the crews, and we have Stephanie up first. Can you hear me, Grandpa? Yeah. <laughs> Just checking. Um, well, as Dan said, we were split up into four groups. Um, and when we got there, none of us were really happy about that because we had expected that we were all going to be working together. Um, but I think it helped us a little more. We got to meet some of the other people from the other youth groups. Um, we got to interact with people from other um, states and stuff. I was in a crew. Um, with Elizabeth and Al. Um, of course, Al's not here, but Liz is here with me. Um, we were the number one crew, um, and we were working at a children's camp um, at Summit Grove. And the thing that stood out most in my mind um, the entire week was um, we worked in the dining hall one day, um, and the, the cook who worked there, um, we were organizing his closets, we were cleaning his floors, wiping down his tables, doing all sorts of stuff, um, and by the end, he was just so happy. Um, you could see that he um, was really glad that we were there, um, and we could just see that God was working in his life. Um, he wanted to actually keep all of us. Um, he said he wanted, he wanted us to stay the whole summer, um, but uh, that was really cool. Um, and I actually I had to return home on Monday night because I had a, um, a problem with my eye. I had told Dan beforehand that, I was going to have to come back for a checkup, um, but I had to miss part of the part of the week. Um, so I came back Monday night, um, and I went Tuesday morning. And just the whole time, I could, I know that Pastor Messick sent out a, um, an email to you guys, so I could feel you praying for me. I could feel these guys praying for me, um, and I want to thank you for that. It really helped. Um, and I got in there. He said, you're fine. You can go back to York. Um, and I called Dan and said, I'm coming back. Um, I'm fine. Um, but the cool part of that was, um, they, during their, um, 
lunch devotion, they had been praying for me. And literally, five minutes later, I called and said I was coming home. So um, they got to experience that. Uh, God answered their prayer in literally five minutes. So that was really cool. Um, I thank you for your support um, and your prayer. It really helped us. We had a really awesome week. Um, and our, all our lives have been changed. I know mine has. Um, and I think I can say that for everyone else as well. So thank you. There we go, that works. Um, I was on a crew with Stephanie and Al, and um, we had a lot of fun at the Summit Grove camp. And when I found out that we were doing a day camp, I was so thrilled that we'd be working with kids. And I know that some people in our crew were a little bummed. That was the one thing that they did not want to do at all, was kids hate them. But um, we found out. <laughs> but um, the one person that I have in mind found a, a little guy came up to her during the week, and it, it was her buddy for, like, the rest of the week. week. He came up, and he was playing around with her, smiled, so she had an awesome time, and I think her idea has changed about the whole non-kid thing. But um, we had an awesome time. <laughs> we had an awesome time, and um, we were playing games with the kids, and we were encouraging them and everything, and they were sort of surprised at all the encouragement that they were getting. They're like, you know, they started calling me strange and everything like that. I was there cheering them on while we were doing relay races. But um, they had a lot of fun, and on Thursday, I came in, and I was wearing my pink camo pants, and there was a girl in the day camps that was wearing the same exact pants. So she came over to me, and she's like, we're wearing the same outfit. So she got all excited. She was my buddy for the rest of the day, and it was it was awesome. I made a lot of new cool kid friends. And um, while we were there at Summit Grove, there were two crews that went there, and we got divided into three different groups. There was the kitchen crew, which um, Stephanie had talked about, the, the program crew who worked exactly with the kids, and the grounds crew. And um, Al was on the grounds crew the very first day, and we did stuff from tarring um, a tennis court that they were going to be making into a skate park. We um, they, root, they did roofing on um, some of the different places where the kids were staying. We They swept up. They put a goalie net together, and the instructions came in a different language. So that was a bit of a problem for them. They had some fun figuring that puzzle out. But um, it was really cool to see the way um, the Lord worked because there was a kid who was on, who was with us, and he was part of the York team. And he, um, his name was Justin, and he was one of those kids who you'd tell him to go out and do something jokingly, and he would go out and do it no matter what happened. Like every day he'd come home and say he, like, you know, he broke his hand and stuff like that. He would get into so much trouble, but, like, you know, his leader that was with him, he's like, I've never had to take him to the hospital. It's been, like, this close, but she's never had to. And it was so cool just to see how Al was with him, and they were, like, one of the only two boys that were in our group, and how Al was with him, and just he had just had this awesome calming effect on Justin. Like, he was there, and he was Justin's friend, and, like, you know, he sort of kept Justin focused on the work that was at hand, so it was just really cool to see before we had even gotten there the way the Lord had prepared um, those two to be together and how Al had a lasting effect on his life. So um, thanks again for all of your support and your prayers, and we just had an awesome time, and this is going to be something that I'm going to remember for the rest of my life. So thank you. <laughs>